Hello, welcome to 1997 Batman.com. Ice to see you today. We are looking at Batgirl with Ice Strike Cycle. It's one of the deluxe figures. Obviously, this is the, uh, the other vehicle that she has at the end of the film. Uh, but as you can see, very much not the costume that she had at the end of the film. So it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, they, they went kind of crazy in terms of like, the design of this figure, uh, which I actually kind of like quite a bit. Um, but anyway, in terms of like the bike, um, so yeah, as you can see, I've got it on the kickstand at the moment. It has got a little kickstand there that you can fold up uh, so she can um, yeah, go back and forth. Uh, the wheel's are quite chunky. That said, it will kind of fall over unless you're holding it. Uh, it's also got these kind of wing things that you can move up and down, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, don't really serve any purpose. Um, and then finally, you have this uh, kind of push missile here that fires off a oh, fires off a little wheel uh, at the front of the bike, uh, which is interesting. I guess she has to do a sort of like a, a wheelie or something to get it to fire at people. Um, but anyway, that's uh, yeah, an interesting way uh, of uh, doing it. Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of movement, so I guess you can uh, kind of, yeah, move it a little bit. I guess it's better for sort of like knocking figures over and things. That's what I guess what they're thinking. Uh, and there is a little bit of movement in the front uh, of the wheel. I don't know whether that's intentional or not, or whether it's just sort of, yeah, uh, that is what it is. Uh, but let's get the figure off and just have a look. Uh, we've also got this massive cool bat symbol here, which is very cool. Uh, a little windshield as well. Um, and obviously the, the handlebars, which are nice flexy, kind of go up and down and move around so that when the figure is on there, yeah, you can sort of wiggle them and get them to clip into place so that she can actually hold the wheels. Um, obviously, this is much better than the Redbird Cycle, I think, anyway, much better than the Redbird Cycle uh, figure that Kenna made because uh, she sat on the bike as you would sit on a bike. The You know, the Redbird cycle was really weird and it had sort of Robin lying down on top of the bike, which I did not like at all. Um, this is much, much better. Uh, but let's move uh, the figure off the bike. Um, yeah, so the bike, pretty cool. Um, you know, just a flat kind of uh, grey colour for the most part. Um, saddle, kind of little bits of blue here and there. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think it's a pretty good job. It is very reminiscent now that I look at it, and I don't think I twigged for ages that uh, obviously Batgirl has the Bat Cycle in uh, the 60s show. And this is, you know, a little bit modelled on it, particularly with this kind of tiny little windscreen um, for, yeah, kind of ladylike riding. Uh, but yeah, let's move that to one side and have a look because I think the figure is, is the more interesting part. Yeah, they went kind of crazy with this. Um, but I kind of like it. Um, I like what they've done with it. Um, so for reference, that's that's the standard figure. It doesn't stand very well, in fairness. That is a, a downside. There's the standard figure. So yeah, they've really gone uh, completely the other way and kind of done a whole new sculpt uh, for this just one figure. I'd even say it's smaller. Just putting them kind of side by side. Yeah, with the ears, definitely. It's a smaller figure. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, I don't know why they didn't just put a little bit of uh, silver on this, like uh, she had in the in the movie. Uh, I guess it's one of these things where they just didn't know what their costume was going to look like. Um, yeah, I, uh, this is close to what she looked like when she was on the bike with the helmet and everything. Uh, but yeah, they've gone for this really kind of futuristic, can't get a stand up, they've gone for this very futuristic kind of look uh, with kind of purple and black and silver. It's a lovely cloth cape, which is great. I love the visor. Um, at first I was like, oh, is this kind of like Judge Dredd? But then I was thinking the other day, this is actually looks really close to the suit that Batman wears in Batman vs. Predator, which was a comic book from sort of early 90s. Uh, he had a similar kind of like armoured suit with a big visor like this. So I don't know whether that was an intentional inspiration or accidental. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, just really, really like this. And kind of all the kind of like, uh, kind of lines and stuff going down the side of the suit, that also reminds me a lot of the Stephanie Brown uh, Batgirl from sort of like 2000 and, uh, when was it? 2008 maybe? Um, where, uh, with her suit, which had kind of, yeah, a bit, bit of purple, bit of black, bit of, yeah, all kinds of stuff. 
Um, but yeah, so I love this figure. Uh, I think, you know, I know uh, I'm a little bit down on some of the Batman and Robin figures and vehicles and things. I don't, you know, rate them as highly as I do maybe the Batman Forever stuff, but this is one exception. This is a really, really cool figure. Um, I love what they've done. I love that they've interpreted it. I love that they haven't just given us a, you know, slightly retooled, uh, repainted figure, but they've given us a brand new sculpt. Um, it's got this missile, it's got the wings, it's got, yeah, this is this is what I wanted. Uh, so yeah, very cool figure, definitely get this if you can, um, lots and lots of fun. See you next time guys.